Hey, what's up everyone? How you doing today? Uh, you've reached um, Tuck Notes, Beginner Stock Talk. This is Tucker, my name's Tucker. Uh, welcome uh, Chloe. She helped um, us with our heater. It was freezing for a couple days and now she got it working. Thank you. Um, and thank you to all of you viewers and subscribers and friends for helping me out. You know, I reached, uh, 10k views the other day and that was, uh, something I never thought I could see happening. I never thought that I could get a YouTube channel and have it going. So, you know, thank you, um, everyone, really. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Like I said, I, <clears throat> I even posted on Instagram. It is so cold right now. All right, so we're going to get into what uh, we're going to get into. And that is, uh, I'm going to talk about the three stocks we talked about a few days ago. There were some pharmaceutical company stocks. Uh, one was ticker symbol ABEO. Uh, I Abiono, and that was like at a dollar seventy three, and it went to three dollars and seventy nine cents, and then at a pullback to three dollars and thirty three cents. Um, beta it uh, so it basically it went from a dollar, man, two dollars, no, a dollar. It went up 100% today, this stock. So whoever got this stock, congrats if you got it because you made twice your profit. That's stock one. Stock two, uh, INFI. Remember that one? Okay, well, whoever invested in that, congratulations too. Today that hit an all-time high of $5.49. <clears throat> and then it had a pullback and it closed at four dollars and nineteen cents, which is two point six three percent. Um, and lastly, we have a stock ticker symbol PLX Protolax. Uh, that's six dollars and forty five cents. But it, <clears throat> when we talked about it, it was four dollar around four dollars. 450 something -ish like that I, I don't have my notebook right now I'm using a different piece of paper uh, so I don't have the exact figures but what happened is it went to uh, $6.82 was its high it all time high was that uh, and then it went back down to 6.45 and so you know, what happens with this, these quick movements is because they're pharmaceutical <clears throat> companies, uh, they have their, it's nice to see all three of these have major catalysts that were positive when it comes to the FDA, because that's the hardest thing is the FDA approval. And once you get an approval, then I think We'll see if there's valuation still. But these were just stocks to try to make some quick money off of and then bounce out and then go buy some something else or do whatever you want to do. Uh, but all these stocks are, uh, all these companies hit their price targets like we talked about, which is very nice. So I hope you guys got something off of that. Now, the next thing I'm going to talk about is uh, what company I saw a few days ago because I get emails from them every day and I didn't pay much attention to it, nor did I think about it because I wasn't into it. But it's called DraftKings and the ticker symbol is, oh my God, I'm so cold. Uh, DGNG, uh, it's $62.13. Cents. Now, we talked about uh, well, DraftKings history was it went from $9 to 
and then that's sixty five dollars and then it had a reverse merger and it went down to thirty dollars and then it went back up to sixty two dollars and thirty ten cents and that was the history of it and so you see it go from nine to ten to sixty five okay time to sell out because there's going to be a big sell off and then it's going to go down half so thirty and then it went up, basically doubled itself to 62. And that's where we're at with DraftKings. And it has the potential to double again to 120. Like it just doubled twice here. I wish I paid attention to this earlier. This is like, you know, how you learn. But I wish I did this, I wish I did that. So we're going to go over like how many shares uh, they have and uh, how much institutional ownership is, what the private ownership is, and, um, you know, we're at what to do from there. And so uh, institutional ownership, the, these, this is good news, too, if institutional ownership was at a certain, like, I don't know. 15% in, I don't know, two months ago, this is hypothetically, and then it went up to 46% uh, ownership today. That's a really good sign because that means institutions like big companies are, you know, flocking to it and getting involved, which is bringing up the company and the stock value and making you and me money. So that's a really good thing, right? Oh man, I feel like I'm gonna hypothermia. Um, let's see, there's not a lot of short sellers either. And uh, there's about 8.3% of uh, private ownership, which is, I believe you and I, if I'm not correct. All right, if I'm correct. And today it had a, a huge breakout and um, there's been many ads about it. I don't know. I've seen a few ads on my phone. What I did see on my phone of ads was skills. Remember that skills? That's almost a $40 stock now. That one has been doing really good. And now there's one other stock we're going to talk about that has the same potential and it's going through the same situation. And that, well, first, like, I want, first I wanna let you know that uh, ARK Invest is in, invested in this, if I didn't say that already, uh, into DraftKings. And just to give you a figure of ideas, they have 900,000 shares in one of their ARK W's, ETFs, and in their ARK FinTech, they have $272,000 and they started buying up that yesterday. And so if I now learning today from this, if I do apply this to the emails I get at right after three o'clock from ARK Invest and I see that there's more DraftKings buy me, buying, that tells me that she's buying more, which means that's a good stock to invest in and then to hold. And so that's what you got to do. It's the hardest part is not doing nothing. <laughs> go figure. I don't even want you to go into it. But uh, Golden Nuggets is right now $18.87. The thing is, it's cheaper. So it's more profitable for us to make money off of. DraftKings has made a lot of money. Uh, people have already made it money. It's kind of like that story. You just kind of miss the boat. Well, now here's the new boat, possibly. And that's this golden nugget. Ticker symbol G-N-O-G. And it had a reverse merger. If you remember, this was way back in the day. But with LCA, ticker symbol LCA. I know some of you guys remember it. That company. Uh, we talked about that company at like. 12 oh man i was like nine or ten ten bucks and it slowly went up to 15 and then it went to 18 and 19 and it was like 20 for a while and then it just creeped up a little bit more 27 
And then, bam, we got smacked in the ass. And it got shot down to $18. And that's what happens when a reverse merger kicks into place. It just whoops you in the ass and it takes your money. Unless you get out right before it. And how do you know that? You need to have inside the firm ownership. Or I mean, uh, well, that would be too. That, but inside inf information. So, anyways, I hope you guys like this video. If you do, push the like button. If you don't, don't push the like button. But tell other people about Tuck Notes because this guy does really care, as you know, and he does not lie. He is not a salesman. He is the real deal. So you better listen to the real deal because they ain't not meant that it. They just ain't no much deep real deal people out there. They can give you the real talk. So. I'm a preschool beginner, but I'm telling you the truth. So that's what you got. And that's really good. And you got trust. Because you're still with me. And I'm still with you. Oh. All right. I'll catch you later.